information, inspiration, motivation, conscientisation et surtout distraction. Gardez tout, votre peau pourrie avec Flore. Votre Flore, tous les samedis, 6h, 7h. Gardez tout, la radio pour réfléchir. Bonjour, bonsoir. Bienvenue à une nouvelle sortie de Radio TV avec Dr. Flore. Si c'est la première fois ou pour émission ça, Radio TV, c'est radio et télévision combinée ensemble. Côté que nous faisons radio et télévision pour inspirer ou radio et télévision pour motiver ou radio et télévision pour conscientiser ou et nous dire que la vie n'est pas toute sérieuse. Ça, faut qu'on capable d'étonner. Today, it gives me great pleasure to have on the show someone who I have great respect for, someone that I have known for over 10 years, that has been like a role model, not only for me, but for many women, with her simplicity, but also with her integrity. It gives me great pleasure to have on Radio TV with Dr. Flor, Marisol Centeno. The show will be trilingual, that way we can make the best of it, and that you can, whether you speak Creole, can join Marisol and help her win. If you hear the word win, you know which word I'm taking. Ici, también la bonne a escuchar, para la también unirse a ella, para la que gana. Um, Marisol, welcome on Radio TV with Dr. Flo. For people watching you and listening to you for the first time, because it's going to be on radio also and television, plus multimedia. Tell us who you are. Good morning, Dr. Flor. First of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity to address you and address uh, your public. It's uh, such an honor, uh, as you said, to also know you. You are such a community leader in our community and uh, everything that you do for the community is great and especially having this type of forums in which people can learn about uh, the candidates and, and things that matter. Um, as you said, uh, I am very civically engaged. I've been in Miami-Dade County for over 35 years. My children were born and raised here and uh, went to public schools here in Miami-Dade County. So Miami-Dade yeah, has uh, always... Let me translate for you in Creole. Je dis à inviter nous, c'est Marisol Centeno. Eh bien, lui content accepter invitation pour lui là pour lui présenter à nous-mêmes communauté haïtienne. Eh bien, lui c'est un monde qui là la communauté en depuis 35 ans, toute petite lui tout participer la éducation publique. Yes, muchas gracias. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, yes, so I, I've been in Miami-Dade County for over 35 years, and I've always been engaged in the community. My uh, qualifications for this office include being a, a property appraiser for over 15 years uh, with the state of Florida. I appraise all kinds of properties in Miami-Dade County. And in the last five years, I've been working at the office of the property appraiser. Eh bien, lui même là, lui c'est candidat pour um, position que que nous même communauté haïtienne nous capable connaît. Um, it's good that I'm having you because sometimes when we talk in elections, people only see big elections like president, Congress, but locally. Uh, your position is a must for the Haitian community where many people are realtors and brokers and also a part of the, the, the economic development, which that feels is very important for, for, for people to be aware of. And you are wanting as a um, property appraisal, no? Right. That's so the what is it called? So it's called the Miami-Dade County Office of the Property Appraiser. It's okay. number 367 on your ballot. That's my name, 367. Ah, okay. That means that you voted and it's a city-wide and county-wide. So this is for Miami-Dade County. It's county-wide. And, and uh, the Office of the Property Appraiser, as you said, it's so important. And, and a, little, a very little-known office, right? Mm -hmm. The office assesses all the properties. I mean, all, 
almost a million properties in Miami-Dade County for tax purposes. So we Lydie set the value. Ah, uh, Lydie, que l'on ville Miami, position, ça son position très important, position qui gagne pour mon um, dirigé et valeur kai. L'autre de property appraisal, c'est mon qui soupra le vent kai. L'on dit, moi, pour l'acheter kai, qui bon legalement valeur kai la la ville. Un um, property appraisal is whoever evaluate the cost of the property for anyone interested to buy or sell a house, no? Right. So not the, just the cost, but the market value. So mm -hmm. uh, you so have your market, market value, value and mm -hmm. your assessed value. Your property taxes are based on your assessed value which is how you pay your taxes and then those taxes. And, and that's the issue why the office is so important because these taxes go to provide funds for, my, for the Miami-Dade County budget. That's where schools get paid from. That's where police services, library, infrastructure uh, locally gets paid for. L'idée que position ça qui c'est um, property appraiser son position qui est important parce que c'est là que il a gagné valeur calant qui sous marché en même et là c'est nous mêmes taxpayers qui payer nous payer pour taxe et c'est l'argent ça yo les caillou gain valeur dépendant de zone yo depending of the areas also then people knows which areas have great school bad school or or things like that then tax yo Servi pour payer pour l'école publique, pour librairie, you said school, library, and also the police. The police and, and all the services pretty much. So the, the tax, the county budget, there is about 50, 53% comes from uh, taxes that we pay in the properties, right? Oh. Every time, every year we pay the real estate taxes is based on the value that the office assesses. Ok, very good. Then, um, nous t'avons chaque année. Do, do people need to need a property appraisal on a yearly basis? On a yearly basis, yes. So the assessments are as of January 1st of whichever year. Les so, que c'est chaque année, ça veut dire que ça y a valeur. So every year, a house takes or loses value based on the market as well. Correct. So it's based on, it's, uh, it's uh, on January 1st as of the values as of the previous year. So like right now, uh, we're going to be receiving the trim notices, truth mm -hmm. and millage in, in, in mid-August. And those values for your properties are going to be based on sales and income that occurred in 2019. Les dit que eh bien valeur caillou pral fait en fonction de ça qui t'est passé là année 2019 et entre août et décembre c'est pour veiller là pour ça qui privé lire les li quand cou yon notice tirer les trim notice et que d'ici 1er janvier pour connait qui valeur caillou Then I think that that's a very very important position what inspired you to run for for it um, so I work at the office. As I, I've been working at the office of the property appraiser for five years. So I know where we, uh, all the different sections where we need better efficiencies, where we can do, do better to assess the, proper, the properties fairly and equitably across the county. So in doing that, I believe that I have the leadership that, that we need to, come to, to make it this pass. In addition, that we're going to be facing some uh, really tough circumstances now doing to COVID-19, right? Because it's not just uh, the residential properties, but it's also the commercial properties mm -hmm. that, you know, the, the, the residential properties have not taken a hit, but the commercial sector has. Right, the we've been the restaurants, the hotels, the the dealerships. Everything has been closed for all these months, so their value it's not going to be the same. Lidi que moi madel qui ça qui inspire elle qui fait que li poser candidature pour office up et puis c'est you challenging your boss, no? 
Yes, I am challenging my boss. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Li, la, la, li, la challenge boss li parce que li travail la, li pense que li gen leadership la, li gen experience la, pour li capable pote yon lot façon que ou moun wè et et on façon plus juste parce que il parle de fairness, il parle de efficiency, tout parle de ça qui qui pour faire que surtout le marché commercial dans business pendant covid dans qui ferme qui vient perdre valeur et il par exemple tout monde qui lance affaire vendre machine dit leur machine qui perdu un paquet de cob pendant covid then um, how's the campaign doing then how are you doing and how do you think that you want the Haitian community to rally by you so um the campaign is going very well i would consider so considering that i just started uh i filed the last day of filing fee on, on june the 8th the, mm -hmm. the second to last day um i've been ready, able to raise about thirteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars it's uh you know i'm a poor person i come from very humble beginning being born in the dominican republic and tamayo you're close you're to economically him. challenged you're not poor yes so blurry that we use right so so it's you really interesting reach and skills and um, <coughs> then that's correct so mm -hmm. so that's what i think right i may not have the big pockets and the big donors that uh my opponent has mm -hmm. but i do have a lot of people power Yes. I, I've been uh, contributing to this community for many, many years. I've been able to, to establish good relationships such as yourself, that, Dr. Flor, and, mm -hmm. and um, I care. And, and I think that's a, a biggest thing. I care about Miami-Dade County. I care about all the sectors of the population, not just focusing on one. The Haitian community, I've worked uh, mm -hmm. deeply with the Haitian community. Mm -hmm. I've worked uh, with uh, Marie Bastien. I've worked with you. I've worked uh, with uh, Avant Sam. So mm -hmm. um, I, I, I know these people. I know the, the community. Uh, I've worked in Miami Gardens. I've worked in Homestead. Um, no, you've and, been everywhere. Yes. And, and so that was, you've been everywhere. You've been very impartial. You've been very ethical. And um, I take it's time for us to give back to you. You've been good. And that's that's so nice of you, right? There are some but, but it um, let me tell them. Frère, yeah. some you. Mama de Marisol qui je campagne parce que il rentre comme candidat le 8 juin seulement. C'est que il pas un monde qui gagne en pile comme même j'avais moi, mais malgré tout de les autres en il gagne en pile monde qui corrèl. Et de pour ouais docteur Flo porter yo moun ba nou lan show radio ak télévision ça c'est yo moun ki sérieux Marisol gagne jusqu'à présent 13000 dollars élection elections are in 48 days Correct. So need to wait for the 8 days and early voting starting August 8 don't pay attention to anybody telling you to vote online there's no such thing in voting online All you right. will follow early voting and you will vote by mail those are the two options no Correct. So, and, uh -huh. uh, but if uh, so, we're recommending that everybody uh, request their vote by mail uh, mm -hmm. right away to avoid lines and and yes. to avoid people getting out during COVID nineteen. Right. Mm -hmm. The vote by mail will be coming out on July ninth through the sixteenth. Or uh, well, I, I'm not completely sure on the two dates. But if you get it, you will receive your ballot. And then even if you have your ballot, um. And you, you're not sure if you want to send it, and you can still take it when mm -hmm. you go vote early. The mm -hmm. the the thing is avoiding the lines yeah. and having to get out. Right? Yeah. We've seen other states, and mm -hmm. and we also don't want uh, voters to have to uh, put their lives at risk by catching COVID nineteen and being exposed. So if you can do it either by mail or early, is way better than waiting on August the eighteenth. OK, il dit que yo yo au carré le département élection pour mandé pour yo voye ballot pour nous même haïtien qui remet absenti ballot pour nous faire li par la poste au lieu pour nous faire li pour nous prendre maladie. Mais ce pas de tout sous pas ta gueta voye ou capoter le même pendant yo dit voter bonheur et il dit que veiller par la poste parce que date là c'est entre 9 juillet jusqu'à 16 juillet que y a voye. Alors um, your punch number is 367 
Eh bien, 367, ça c'est un numéro, frère, ça a ici mm. mieux que m'ta remè pour nous voyer Marisol sainte nous monter pour moi parce que l'argent pa pas ka payer valeur moun et c'est ça que nous porter pour ou la émission garder tête tout la émission la, la philosophie garder tête tout qui fait pour ou radio tv avec docteur Flo Ahora vamos a terminar con la comunidad latina, la comunidad latina que nos mire los puertorriqueños, venezolanos, porque um, el programa pasa en la 1450 AM, que es una emisora latina. Entonces, Marisol, ¿cuál es tu mensaje? Oh, something's happening to my video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so before we go on with that, I want to let even the, the Haitian community know that I've always been available um, and I focus in underserved communities, communities that, that people have not been traditionally paying attention to. And I have to say, one of my biggest things, if you go to my website, marisolcenteno.com, you will be able to see, I want to, the office, uh, the website for the office of the property appraiser, that's going to be one of my biggest thing to translate it to both Spanish and Creole. So mm -hmm. because this also provides accessibility, it's very difficult to understand these things, especially when um, you don't speak the language, when you're foreign born, which about 53% of the people in Miami date are, mm -hmm. and you don't know how to navigate or what an assessment means, what military means, what your taxes do. People should be able to, to learn these things in their own language. Eh bien, les gens qui ont passé la parole, la vidéo là, il y a un petit problème, mais nous still going to do the show because we will fix it on television. Then, um, les dit que les gens qui ont visité le site internet lien, qui c'est marisolsenteno.com. Et puis, pour voir que li, la PCE fait effort pour lui mettre quelques informations en parole et en créole, parce que par yo haïtien yo parce que faut que yo respecte nous nous presque 53% l'en ville Miami. OK, il y a los hermanos latinos. Ah, la misma cosa, no necesitan saber esta información en español. Como dije, um, las personas aquí tenemos más del 52% de personas nacieron fuera del del país. So no saben me, me tiene el video. <laughs> Está... No se preocupe, la voz está bien. Okay. Sí, tú me mandas entonces... un retrato bonito tuyo, cuando lo hace pongamos tu retrato. Ok, sí, entonces los latinos tampoco, lo, los hispanos no saben qué significan estas cosas. Yo, yo hablo de mi propia experiencia con mi mamá, a una mujer muy inteligente, pero sin embargo no, no, no sabe el idioma completamente y no entiende los conceptos. No sé, no sé a veces cuando tienen una ex excepción en la propiedad, que no es el valor de, de, de los taxes que le bajan, sino el valor accesado. Hay muchas cosas que, que la comunidad necesita entender y necesitan tener acceso a la información en español en su idioma. Es bien, po. no tengo que traducir eso. <risa> Uh, porque eso fue para los hermanos latinos, que, que a ellos siempre miren este programa único que está en tres idiomas por más de 13 años en la comunidad, porque confiamos en, la, en el sentido de inclusión, en el sentido de los inmigrantes y de la diversidad cultural. Marisol, el número de nuevo y el, el, la red social tuya para nosotros estar en contacto, por favor. En mi número para, el, para la boleta de, vota, de votación es 367, Marisol Centeno, para Property Appraiser. Y el uh, website, el, el sitio de web es marisolcentenoconzeta.com. Ahí pueden aprender uh, más acerca de mi plataforma. Les pido que por favor se involucren, que sepan porque esta oficina es una oficina muy importante para el condado. Otra cosa, quiere traducir es otra cosa, doctora Flores. Um, personas piensan que solamente a, afecta a dueños de negocios, dueños de edificios, dueños de apartamentos, casas residenciales, condominios, etcétera, pero también eh, afecta 
a los inquilinos, porque los inquilinos pagan renta que la, uh, y, el, y el dueño de, de la propiedad paga los impuestos. Si cambian los impuestos, van a cambiar sus rentas. Entonces, esto es una cosa que tenemos que enfocarnos, especialmente du durante estos tiempos, cuando, cuando van a llegar los valores pronto. Bon, ça, c'est un bagage très important, les dinos. Numéro là, c'est 367. Ce qui implique que faut que nous mettions un monde qui au moins gagne um, respect et puis qui valorise la communauté hein, pour être capable de ne pas rester derrière ça qui relève de la valeur caillou. It was a great pleasure to have you, Marisol, on Radio TV with Dr. Flo. Until we connect again, we wish you victory on August 18, 2020. Best thank you so much, Dr. Flora. Likewise to you. Good luck out there. And thank you for giving me the time. And hello to everybody. Be okay, well. Be, be safe. Likewise. Thank okay. you. Information, inspiration, motivation, conscientization, and surtout, distraction. Gardez tête votre peau pourri avec Flora. Votre Flora. Tous les samedis, 6h, 7h. Gardez tête la radio pour réfléchir.